Hey, what's poppin' number one? So since I have a cat in my head, you know it's gotta be a good video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make and generate your own resume using LaTeX, which is kind of like a much nicer version than just using it and typing it all in Word. All right, so the resume template I'm gonna show you can be used for pretty much any job. Of course, you just gotta, you gotta change a lot about, about it, like previous experience, your education, if you have any or like any projects you might have. So you're gonna have to change all that yourself. I mean, I can't make the resume for you, but I can help get you started. All right, so the tool I'm gonna be going to be using to edit the LaTeX files is something called Overleaf. If you just Google overleaf.com or I'll link in the description, it is just an easy way to edit your LaTeX files. And ignore, <laughs> ignore what you see in your screen. I was a physics major and I used LaTeX some time ago to generate um, I guess lab report stuff. And then I, I did make my own CV with it. So using this very same template. So let's begin. And before we get started, make sure to like that button, triple click the like button, as I put a lot of effort in generating these things. Or that is what I would say if uh, I did actually generate this template myself. So I, I just got it from this GitHub. I'll link this GitHub in the description. It's just like a very basic um, kind of like resume. Well, not really basic, but it gets the job done, really. <laughs> That's really all that matters. And a, a good resume is very important because people say, oh, like hiring managers only put in like 30 seconds onto a resume. Well, those 30 seconds got to matter. <laughs> I mean, they, they have to matter if you want to get the job because if they like see your resume and then um, they see that you're a, a garbage collector for 15 years and then you suddenly become a a developer at Google, they're going to have to question how did that happen. So it's very, it's, it provides a lot of insight. I do want to go over this, this resume. It has a bunch of different columns. So of course you have your, the name and your, your kind of like contact information, like your email, your website, if you have one, the website is really good to have. If you have your own website, then it will show that you can do that kind of stuff, especially if you're going to be working on web development. So that's very important. So it has education, like I said, you don't necessarily need an education to get a job, but it might be nice to have and to show. Maybe your links, if you are linked to other places. Your coursework, if you have coursework. Like I said, you don't necessarily need coursework to get a job. Your skills, very useful if you're going for like some kind of software related or cloud related like position. Especially you can list all your like the cloud services you've used. The, um, like the projects that have used those cloud services or like programming languages or whatever you want to say. Maybe your experience, if you don't have a job, then maybe you can do like volunteer experience. If you worked on a team, you can put that kind of experience. Or and I would always do your most recent first. Like um, this person, did, this is, shows how outdated, or not, it's not outdated, but like how old this specific one is, 2015. I guess to present, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's dated. And then if you do research, or awards, publications. At the bottom right, not many people look at, honestly. But that is the general overview of this one. All right, so now I'm going to go over how you can change that yourself. So on the GitHub page that I linked to you, you're going to scroll down past the, the resumes. And then there's a part where it says Overleaf, compilable online. You're going to click that. And then you can go and click Open as Template. So this will basically give you this so you can edit it as a template. And then you're going to click it, it'll load for a second, and then you can put in your name, your education, all that cool stuff. So it has uh, kind of like comments. So this is kind of like code, kind of. But it will take a second to compile. So it is compiling code, kind of. So let me just go through some simple things that you would definitely want to do. So definitely you would want to have your name be here. That's We'll just call it Dan Clark. And then. Each time you can either type control S to save it or you can just compile out here. So, and then there we go, Dan Clark. So, of course, I'm not gonna go through all this because that will take a long time, but I'll go through some like important parts that especially someone right out of undergrad uh, might have like as a necessity. So going back to the main GitHub, the I guess the motivation behind this is that a lot of companies today search resumes based on keywords but at the same time require slash prefer a, a one-page resume, especially for undergraduates. 
So the, they really are looking for like the keywords, like do you have knowledge of AWS? Do you have knowledge of Azure? Do you have knowledge of this language? Do you have this programming? Do you have some kind of experience that they're looking for? And that's why they want to have a bunch of different like keywords all into the resume, but also want to be have it be kind of like concise all in one page. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. All right, so let me go over some basics here of this latex, which might be new to some people. So it has href, which is kind of like HTML href, which you can use to like link to different things. Like if I click this here, it'll show like the link in the bottom left corner that it'll just link to the, um, this website or link to Facebook or something like that. So that's that's useful to have for like linking to your website. And then another cool thing is you can like separate this into columns, like with this comment here, use percents as the column or the, the I guess the comment here. And then you separate into sections. So you type uh, slash and then education, you can very useful to have. So maybe you went to um, YouTube University <laughs> and then that'll show up here eventually. It takes like a while to compile. That's the only downside of this. Like if you're doing like Word directly, it's pretty much instantaneous, just typing stuff. But here it will take some time to compile. But you do get that good quality though. So let me go through some up newer stuff because this is, of course, made from 2014, 2015, and it hasn't been updated too much since. It was like newer technologies and stuff like that, and this is for geared for software engineers, but it, you can gear this for whatever you wanted to gear it for. Like, for example, if I go to the experience section, you might say, um, you can call a <laughs> YouTube channel. This is my resume for my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get hired by another YouTube channel. I'm just joking, by the way. But um, so I can say, what am I? Some kind of resume YouTuber. I only make resume YouTube <laughs> videos. <laughs> I don't know what I'm typing. But anyway, I think you get the gist of it. Like you just um, kind of edit whatever you want. You can do types the slash section to make your own section. And then you can do run subsection to kind of like make your own subsection kind of stuff. And then another cool point is you can make um, these bullet points with um, like if we go down to Google here, subsection Google, description, uh, you do slash descript, and then you kind of put it in these curly brace, bracket, brackets, and then that will kind of like be there after. And you can do like location. So all has like different fonts. Of course, you can change your fonts as well if you really want to get into this, make this really nice. You can do like a dot item. So a slash item here is what will make the font show this little bullet point, which is really nice to have because people like reading like three bullet points instead of reading essays. They don't want to read paragraphs and resumes. And it's really a good idea to have because bullet point takes like a second or a couple seconds to read. Like a paragraph takes like 30 seconds to read. And the whole goal really is to make sure that the hiring manager takes as little time as possible reading this, but gets the most amount of information out of it. All right, so let's say you want to like remove a section because you might not have a publication because not many people have publications, uh, surprisingly. So if you remove it, then you click recompile or troll S to save. It will remove it. And then you might get some blank space here. And blank space is interesting because it, it shows like, oh, that's all you got. And if you have blank space, then it might be showing that you don't have much more to put in your resume. And then if you do have blank space, I would recommend try to space some out, stuff out more. Like uh, instead of like having stuff all compiled into this like long list of like courses and stuff like that, maybe kind of space it out more, have more space between things. Because having blank space definitely shows that you don't, oh, you don't have like enough experience. You're not very experienced. You only have like one experience. So if you don't have any experience at all, I would definitely recommend putting projects here as well. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you found that informative or useful. I hope it helps at least one person. If it did, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and the like button as well, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.